This is a quick tutorial for Everyday Math, 3rd grade, Home Link 8.3, which is titled Fraction Number Stories. And on this page here, uh, we have some problems, and we're going to draw pictures if we need to uh, help to solve these problems. They all involve fractions. So let's take a look. Here, Lucy uh, was playing a card game with two friends. So if Lucy and two friends are playing, there's three people playing. They were playing with a deck of 21 cards. Lucy dealt one-third of the deck to each person. How many cards did Lucy get? Okay, so again, three people. So each person gets one-third, and there's 21 cards. Let's make a quick picture to figure this out. So I'm going to make a circle for each person, three people, and we've got 21 cards to pass out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Keep doing that until you go to 21 and see how many cards each person receives. Or you can just use multiplication or division to help you. Uh, if you know that already, just write the uh, number model beside the answer if you do that. Now for the next one, number two, Jonathan bought 12 pencils and he gave half of them to his brother and one-fourth of them to his friend Mike. How many pencils did he give to Mike? So this has some information that's really just confusing you. He gave half of them to his brother. The question is, how many did he give to Mike? So we're not even worried about how many he gave to his brother, although we could figure that out too if we know half of 12. We want to know how many did he give to his friend Mike. So we need one-fourth of the 12 pencils. So here are the 12 pencils. Can we put these into four equal groups, so one-fourth is how many we gave. So circle them so they're in four equal groups. I think if we did this. Now those groups are all equal, and that should show you how many cards we gave, or Jonathan gave, how many pencils Jonathan gave to Mike. Uh, so the last bit, I didn't take a picture, but I'll write it real quick, what is number five. So you're supposed to draw 15 circles and then circle three-fifths of them. So first, draw yourself 15 circles. I'm going to draw mine like that. And we need to uh, now do three-fifths of the circle, three-fifths of the circles. So... This five here basically means you need to first thing you need to do is put them in five groups. So first, can you make these circles into five even groups? And the way that I organize the circles actually helps you out a little bit. So I would circle five, circle them into five groups or put them into five groups. Then this three here is how many of those you should circle total. So you may have a, uh, five groups and then circle three of those five groups, and that should help you out, I hope. Same idea for the next one. You're supposed to draw 12 circles and put an X through three-fourths of them. So make your 12 circles, then put them into four groups. Then choose three of the groups and X them out. Okay? This is a little bit new, so if you don't understand this, just try your best, and we can work on it later. Uh, but this is, again, Homelink 8.3, Everyday Math, 3rd grade. Thank you.